Hello, dear friends, how are you doing? It's the Nicole Universe. Hope everything's fine. I'm a Russian man who brings a lot of experience. And today we're gonna discuss about machine learning tasks, such as clustering, classification, dimensionality reduction, and creating the specific predictive function from the empirical data. Wow, did you understand something? Yes, maybe, <laughs> but... Okay, I will discuss with you, I will communicate with you through the easy terms, or at least it will be clarified. Some terms, scientific fancy things will be clarified. We'll talk with you about these topics in terms of music. Music it is understandable, understandable for everybody, kind of violins, violas, and also cellos, and guitars, and uh, different types of piano, and uh, xylophone, glockenspiel, marimba, and things of this nature. Yes, we have them. And also, we have different types of algorithms, tasks, actually, that we need to do. First, clustering. Clustering, it is when we put some specific things to together because of the measures, measures, similarity measures. Imagine that we have guitar, ukulele, also viola, viola da gamba, viola da mur, <laughs> viol, violin, and etc. String, string, strings, strings. We have strings, musical, in, string, uh, musical instruments that, that have strings, yes, inside of it. And actually, we can see at them and we can cluster them. Okay, it is, will be Core, it will be called the phones, yes? Next, aerophones, sarusophones, uh, saxophones, uh, oboe, bassoon, tenoroon, flute, yes, these type of things, and also different types of flutes, so this, uh, uh, these things, yes, flute recorder, and we have aerophones, actually, I showed to you this, uh, it is harmonica, I don't know what is it, actually, maybe it will be kind of uh, neat to think about it, yes, it's one more cluster. Also, we have cluster of membranophones, it is different types of djembe and butter drums, bon drums and uh, also some of the snare drum, bass drum, drums, yes? And also we have idiophones, it is xylophone, it is specific symbols, it is shakere and, uh, and uh, different types of maraca, yes? Some things that are producing sounds by itself, idiophones, idio, idio, idio means, uh, the prefix means that it is kind of uh, by, by its own, yes? It is uh, idiophones, it sounds by its own. Wow! And idio style we have. Idio style, it is uh, the specific writing style when you write something and you have kind of your own patterns. You have your own stylistic things and things of this nature. Okay, it is uh, cluster clustering. Also, what can we cluster more? We can cluster abilities of different singers. For example, somebody sings really nice, amazing songs, operatic and uh, different types of uh, this magic flute of Mozart and uh, Beethoven plus X and also Huntel, Haydn and, uh, or, okay, some of the musicians and Hans Zimmer, he, he could sang, uh, sing a cappella cello from Hans Zimmer, Pirates of the Caribbean, yes, a cappella thing, and uh, he could do this, actually, or maybe Lord of the Rings, uh, she or he sings it really nice. Okay, it is kind of uh, the patterns of super nice musician, yes, and also we have the beginner who can sing kind of twinkle, twinkle, little star with a little bit of uh, kind of missing of notes or something, but actually he tries the best, yes? It is another, another. Also we have the person who is already kind of knows some pop songs, for example, not musicals and Heathers and uh, Notre Dame de Paris, Cats, uh, Wicked and uh, things of this nature, but well, actually the person who knows something, yes, uh, maybe he knows some popular songs, uh, popular means uh, kind of, what's popular, yes? Ed Sheeran, for example, maybe, maybe Taylor Swift songs, some country songs and uh, maybe from uh, LA, uh, maybe LA, LA, LA woman by the doors, yes, uh, he knows kind of some stuff, uh, Metallica, yes, Metallica, I don't know how to pronounce, pronounce correct, SEDC, yes, and things of this nature, he knows kind of some popular stuff or maybe popular in old days, and actually we see the person who is super mega master opera and uh, different types of skills, he juggling some the singing notes, and we have uh, one person who knows kind of, uh, and uh, some uh, kind of only the beginner, yes? And actually we can see the clusters and if we will have three musicians of this group, five musicians of this group and one musician from this group or ten musicians from this group, actually we can see them, okay, nice, amazing, and it is clustering, the same thing. Also we can pick the 
the mean number of the person who has the specific skills. I imagine that you have three people and you need to choose only one or maybe to measure what's the mean number, what's the kind of the center, center of mass, center of center of mass in terms of the physics and, uh, and mathematics. What's the center of this cluster? Who is he? Who is she? Who Maybe we don't have it, but actually we, ca we have maybe ideal imagination of mean number of it because maybe we have uh, people who has okay uh, we have numbers yes two, one 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 point five uh, uh, one one point six and and two actually the mean number will be one point five three 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 and etc but actually the kind of the closest person it is with one point six yes if we will have uh, two one point six and one yes and uh, it is actually the midoid will be midoid means that the specific person who is the most centers the most uh, who who belongs to the center the most kind of who kind of converges to this converges means uh, kind of or appro approaching a conver a convergence actually it is the ability to do, 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 kind of I imagine the line yes and this kind of, kind of near 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 almost yes almost to this a kind of convergence it is going to connect divergence it is when it is going to that kind of to different sides and or maybe to this side yes a kind of one could be going and one will be or maybe it will be going this and this will be going there okay it is uh, divergence uh, convergence and etc okay clustering clustering it is when we place some some data data about some objects and so now it is objects of music that we thought about uh, actually need to call it in real life as people yes because it is will be more with positive and uh, and uh, optimistic and enthusiastic connotation yes and also we have uh, okay it it was clustering we have different types of clustering algorithms k means k means plus plus k means sharp dbscan dbscan cure chameleon rock <laughs> grid based clustering gmm gaussian mixture models uh, clara clarans fuzzy c means uh, and also we have different types Types of uh, deep clustering algorithms and agglomerative clustering algorithms and also uh, divisive clustering algorithms Ag Agnes and Diana Agnes uh, agglomerative nesting and uh, Diana D divisive analysis it is uh, the kind of acronym or uh, abbreviation okay abbreviation and it's actually different types of uh, algorithms that we have kind of how can we watch to the data through different patterns through different glasses yes and okay it was clustering also we have classification classification it is when we have the input data input that for example somebody comes to your house yes and uh, I, I mean that maybe your friend and you can determine what type of friend he is or she is kind of I imagine that you have friends uh, <laughs> I imagine that you have friends okay I imagine that you have uh, friends mu mu music music friends I imagine that you have musicians uh, musicians who are your friends and they are coming to your house and you can kind of determine if they are with piano maybe they are piano Pianists. If they are with guitar, guitarist, with a boy, a boyist, a saxophone, saxophonist, and uh, other things. I don't know how to pronounce, by the way, different types of saxophone man, yes, piano man, and uh, or piano woman, yes. And uh, actually, you can determine it by the inputs. Inputs it is who comes to us, uh, input data. Input data is uh, something that appeared here, and you can determine what type of class, what type of mark, what type of label, what type of what type of above uh, I identifier, what type of indices, what type of names can you give to the specific input? For example, we have this. Actually, what is it? What is it? It is actually input. You can say yes, it is what a whiteboard marker, yes, and uh, you can determine it by different patterns. For example, it is the shape, it is cylindrical shape, plus uh, some of the color, black color, and also it is written here, whiteboard marker. Yes, it is uh, one more kind of hint, one more guess. It is uh, kind of increasing the ability. Also, if we will, uh, unlock it, then we will have wow, Jesus Christ! It is uh, this the specific color really. And if we will do the usage, then we have already kind of 
Yes, it is a useful thing. It is kind of fulfilled with colors. Fulfilled means that uh, maybe one day it will be dry or something and uh, you cannot do anything. But right now you can see, uh, you can say that it is so working, working in terms of the it works, working whiteboard marker. Yes, amazing. It is a classification and uh, classification it means that we have inputs and uh, then we do classifying them by the specific created model, model that we already kind of created, uh, how our our device, our uh, machine can can guess, can predict what is it, can say uh, what is it, yes? It is uh, determination of our machine, determination, f uh, determinated formula and uh, integrated formula, implemented formula inside of our device, inside of our computer that could say that it is or it is not, okay? It is uh, our... Uh, classification and classification could be different different it could be with uh, the specific patterns of logistic regression logistic regression it is it means kind of look at this gra graph and actually everything that lies here on the upper side it is uh, this one thing uh, less than in it is another it is actually it works in our real life look at the world how can you say that it is maybe truthful information you will say it if you will have 51 plus percent of your thinking about it that it is maybe this object, not another. For example, you see the person who has a lot of piano and only one guitar, and you can say, you can guess that maybe he's pianist, not the guitarist, but actually maybe it's not true. Yes, maybe he's a guitarist, but he only do collecting of uh, piano, yes? But actually, if you look at the person with a lot of pianos, like 20 pianos and different organs in, in his house, and also he, he has different types of keyboards, and things of this nature and only one guitar kind of there and uh, it is uh, kind of with uh, with the dust on it yes and uh, you can say that maybe this person is a pianist yes uh, kind of the per percentage of that he is a pianist 95 percent and five percent that he is maybe a guitarist <laughs> but actually he's a flutist and uh, okay you we we kind of guessed another way but actually it it, it was logistic regression yes with one one and two kind of zero and one when you have binary binary classification. Binary means uh, this or that. Uh, uh, either or, yes? Okay. And uh, this or that. Uh, okay. And also we have multi-class classification. It is when we can see kind of maybe this, maybe this, maybe that, maybe, maybe that. And actually, can you guess uh, what is it? Actually, it is our one more thing. Also, we have uh, different types of uh, classification through the... <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. A, ra a random forest thing we have, and also we have uh, a random forest. Actually, it is decision trees. Uh, maybe that. Maybe this. Okay. Also, we have a support vector machine, Stütze, Stütze, uh, Stütze vector and machine. And uh, also, one moment. So where is it? Uh, need to Google naive bias. Actually, naive bias. I think so. Yes, it is classification. Was naive bias? Yeah, 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 yes. Also naive bias classification. It is imagine that uh, we have two, two kind of distributions of Gauss. It is kind of. Yes, bell curves, and so then we have kind of, uh, of that maybe it is that, and maybe that's this kind of where it belongs to that uh, it it will be this thing, kind of uh, where it belongs the most. Yes, it is naive bias thing and others. Naive bias, it is the name of it. Okay, it was our classifications. Also, we have dimensionality reduction. Dimensionality reduction is when we have hypercubes, hypercubes, hyperspheres, hyper hyperplanes, uh, hi hyperplanes, hi hyper 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 surfaces, hyper rectangles and things of this nature. Actually, it is dimension, dimensions of 20, 30, 40, 40, 50, 100, 100, and and Dalen, and schon in Tag schon haben schon Okay, and it was kind of a Deutsch, oh, something in my memory card, and uh, <laughs> something switched in my memory bar, memory card, okay. And, uh, and okay, we, we are here and uh, with uh, English, and uh, we have, we have everybody, dimen dimensions, actually it is uh, kind of three dimensions, it is cube, yes, if you look, two dimensions, it is the, the specific uh, quadrat, it is a specific square, it is square, yes, and uh, also one dimension, it is a point, and actually th four dimensions, uh, four dimensional cube, what is it? What is it, guys? What is it? We actually, look at this, we have... I imagine that we have four, four variables, length, width, height, and weight, yes? 
and they are in the same metric metric system. And we have first, second, third, fourth. If it is a cube, kind of three-dimensional cube, then we have one, one, one for each uh, for each parameter. We have the values of one, one, one because one times one it is the square. Yes, one, one, one. One, one, and one, it is a kind of one, one, and so kind of it is 3D, I imagine. It is uh, the cube. And when we have one, 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 actually it will be what? It will be our thing called hypercube in the fourth dimension. Fourth dimension, Jesus Christ, we open it. And uh, it is our, the box of Pandora. And uh, we have the the kind of four dimensional cube already. And eight dimensional cube we could have if we will have one, 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 and etc. We have multi-dimensional things. And actually sometimes we need to kind of decrease it uh, from 3D, we need to make only projection of 2D, from 4D we need to make 2D, or maybe from 20D we need to make 3D. It is actually different types of uh, pr projections that we do. And actually, how can we do this? By choosing the specific correlated patterns. For example, we understand that people who are right now uh, singers, yes, singers, music, wow, Jesus Christ, amazing, orchestra. We we have people who are singing kind of, uh, sing us a song, oh, piano man, sing us a song tonight, yes, and uh, we have the people who are singing and uh, we have the person who can play saxophone, sarusophone, sousaphone, helicon, cornet, cornet with double T, soprano cornet and also he could do different types of voices, he could speak like a spongebob, I'm ready, I'm ready, yes he can do different types of things and actually if he needs to sing he needs only one or maybe two, three different types of uh, dimensions. Dimensions means parameters. For example, he could play piano, he could play violin, he could play anything, but actually he needs to only to sing, because other people who are doing accompaniment, they are already here and they, they do their stuff. And actually, dimensions we are decreasing, also he could do dancing and also he could do kind of acting. You need only three parameters, kind of each, okay guys? Uh, it is a weird understand that uh, he could do many things uh, in the same time, but actually he needs only singing, also dancing and acting, and that's all, and speaking sometimes, okay, four dimensions need, and that's all, and uh, we can we can show it by numbers, numbers means Numbers it is a specific kind of I imagine that you have I imagine that you have you are playing the game and you have the the experience Experience of singing for example, and you have the value value of 60 uh, 60,000 points of singing singing skills Yes, or maybe you have the super uh, for example. You are super mag mega nice person operatic voices a kind of l l p Pavarotti and uh, I said Luciano Pavarotti. Yes, one moment need to Google Pavarotti See, I think so, yes. Yes, Luciano, you are Luciano Pavarotti, or maybe this person, one moment, uh, he sang with Ed Sheeran, this Andrea Bocelli, you are and Andrea Bocelli, and uh, you are singing, time to say goodbye. You are singing, yes, and uh, kind of uh, this of things, and uh, <laughs> okay, it was kind of uh, okay. You are Andrea Bocelli, you are Luciano Pavarotti, and uh, you have a lot of experiences, and uh, you are Luciano Pavarotti, okay, I imagine it because this kind of uh, with uh, nice skill, and uh, I imagine that you are on the top level, kind of, and you have the experience of nine, 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 <laughs> kind of nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine. Uh, yes, nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine of experience in this field of music. Yes, uh, of singing, and actually, you maybe have sixty thousand of experience points. Yes, it is different types of points, and actually, it is digitalizing of things. It is all what's inside of the computers. It is kind of the specific variables you can call a variable even the word kind of uh, shaker or you can make a variable xyz xyz actually it's the names you can call them uh, how you want how you want really you can call it kind of and that's all and uh, you can call this way your variable uh, uh, smash the like button and leave in the comment section below if you did the giggle uh, or maybe you did laughing when i did the kind of the sound of and uh, actually <laughs> you you can do you can call anything by 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 
by by a number you can call anything as a variable but majorly we call it a kind of things we call the variable the thing that we can kind of how can how we interact to each other we kind of uh, by our socio-cultural experience, we call the variables. Our historical experience, for example, it was always X, Y, Z. Let's use X, Y, Z because we have kind of uh, already we get used got used to it, and uh, let's call it. And uh, sometimes need to call it another way, kind of understandable, understandable things need to call it kind of already traditionally made and traditionally means uh, kind of socio-cultural experienced uh, things. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, and uh, we have uh, dimensional reduction. This when you have. Small, uh, small. Uh, we decrease our number of dimensions. Dimensions it is the specific number, actually. Number of dimensions. It is number. I imagine that you have box and you have sub boxes inside of the box. Wow. And uh, and uh, we have maybe twenty boxes. Twenty boxes means twenty variables, twenty parameters. Also, we have uh, what's more, guys. And ah, we have different types of algorithms. Actually, PCA, ICA, LDA. It it means uh, principal component analysis, independent component component analysis. Analysis, linear discriminant analysis and also non-negative matrix factorization. Factorization means that we take one thing that it's kind of one, I imagine that you have one thing and you decompose it. It is kind of factors, factors, factors means kind of decompose things and, uh, and uh, kind of this things, yes, and uh, <laughs> it is factorization. Need to Google. One, one moment, I will Google right now. Fact, uh, fa fa factorization. Oh, I even sung it. Okay, factorization etymology. Etymology. One moment. Factorize. Okay, uh, factorize and factor. Factor. What is it? Latent factor. A doer, maker, performer. Factus. Done or made. Perfect basic principle of facio. Do make. But one moment, one moment, one moment. Factorization. Need to Google. An expression listing items that, when multiplied together, will produce desired quantity. Factorization. Look at this. An expression listing items that, when multiplied together, will produce a desired quantity. It's kind of aggregation, agglomeration. It is when we put different parts. It is factor. Actually, it is the part, part of it. And when you connect, we have the factorization. Okay, so thank you. Uh, and uh, <laughs> it was dimensionality reduction. And uh, then fourth thing, it is regression analysis or the creating of the predictive creating uh, creating the predictive uh, the predict prediction function by using empirical data and uh, it means um, we have empirical data actually th the skills of our singers the specific frequencies notes and uh, their knowledge of sight reading how to read these notes on the on the score and uh, doing some conducting things and different types of patterns of this type of duh, 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 yes a kind of they can do kind of conducting yes and uh, they can do kind of uh, triangling and uh, things of this nature and they have the skills inside of this area and actually what is it uh, prediction it is by looking at them we can predict what will be the next regression analysis means that we are going back backward kind of we are going back we are looking at the back data back data means kind of it is the word that i created right now back data it is we are regression it is when we go backward progress we are going forward back and the regression we are go, going backward we are looking at empirical data that we had and then we predict what will be the next or maybe we'll predict what was even more earlier yes we can kind of predict because so we can look at the progress and we can kind of guess what was the progress previously kind of it is extrapolation extrapolation to the forward extrapolation to the to 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 the to this place place and also we have maybe some data here and we can predict what's inside of it so for example we have data this type oh and we can guess what's inside of it it is interpolation interpolation means that inside and uh, extrapolation kind of what's outside and it is a uh, different types of things interpolation extrapolation and actually we have regression the regression it is the specific name of uh, creating predictive uh, fun pre prediction function by using empirical data. It's the translation of this word because I prefer using this type of words. But actually, the term that uh, it is on literature, it is regression. 
regression, linear regression, non-linear reg regression, linear regression, yes, and we have uh, <laughs> linear regression, non-linear regression, polynomial regression, stepwise regression, robust regression, rich regression, and other regressions we have actually. And uh, it is our things that we have, and uh, by using them we can say, op. It is, so we have data and we need to guess what's the line, what's the what's the low. Low, it is actually the function. Low, it is actually the plot. Plot in, in terms of the mathematics. Plot in terms of the graph. Graph, yes, we can guess. And if it is it, it is linear, yes, and non-linear, it is kind of... It is sometimes in some things we do some things, yes, and another way we do another things. For example, you are singing. You are singing different songs. And when you are di uh, singing different songs, then you are are doing different accents and you are uh, doing different accents too uh, and uh, you are using different types of vocabulary and languages uh, and 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 actually you can use uh, different types of patterns and uh, in different types of things you are not going kind of this way you are doing sometimes kind of uh, it is non-linear things could be yes and uh, different types of uh, prosody and actually if uh, you look it is kind of different in uh, with different types of values you do you pr you have different results yes because you may be seeing opera and also jazz or and also you can sing pop pop or rock or maybe metal or rock and with different types of crowning and things of this nature and okay and in different languages and uh, okay opera it's amazing and uh, opera back to the opera opera I like opera I like musicals I like uh, classical music okay and pop too I like to <laughs> and okay and uh, we have different types of four different texts of uh, tasks of machine learning but where is künstliche neuronal nexus uh, i mean that uh, where is uh, <laughs> artificial neural networks n n artificial uh, neural networks where are they n artificial neural networks it is the specific terms that is already everywhere you heard about it uh, neural networks doing that uh, do, doing this and etc actually it is the specific algorithms the specific model how everything is produced actually what is it? It is okay, everything's fine. And uh, we have the inputs, we have outputs, and inside of it, we have hidden layers. It is kind of the model how our mind works, and it is actually we have different types of them of uh, different types of neural networks uh, perceptrons, multi layer perceptron, recurrent neural network, deep neural network, convolutional neural network, autoencoder, variational autoencoder, sparse autoencoder, denoising autoencoder, graph, aut graph autoencoder, graph neural network, and neural Turing machine, and other different names actually it is all about different types of connections and what's inside of the hidden layer and what is it actually on the points we have weights actually you can google it it is uh, really easy to understand stuff it is how our mind works the more you do specific things the more you have the, the ha you have the habit of it and the more you have the weight of the habit weight means kind of you you was doing push-ups for 50 days and you will do this easily kind of oh i have this uh, this inside of my mind i can continue doing it and actually if you did 20 days you maybe have a nice habit but actually 50 days it is even bigger you have the most strongest myelin shell inside of your mind myelin shell it is uh, that is kind of uh, co it is covering our uh, it is covering our axons and we have different types of neurons and they are connected we have see we have dendrites and synapses that are connected to each other and actually we are inside of our mind super marginal gears and uh, the, the angular gears and also we have uh, Wernicke's area, Broca's area and also Broadman's areas, uh, Broadman area 40, Broadman area 39, it is uh, the supramarginal gears, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it correct, pronounced correct, and also angular gears, it is Broadman area num number 39, and okay, it is uh, different types of things, and actually I hope that you understood right now what is it actually the machine learning tasks, uh, we will continue doing it, so actually why do I speak about it? 
because I want to improve my kind of... When I speak it, I have the experience of speaking it, yes? And uh, also, I bring value to you because you understand it through the music right now. I explain it and I I previously kind of guessed how to do this through music. I, I was thinking about it creating inside of my mind. Right now, I produce some signals, some audio signals, some audio value, audio, audio patterns and uh, it is nice. It is kind of... I have more sensations right now. Right now you have more too it is amazing have a good day enjoy your life go forward you're a nice guy a girl see you next time and uh, improve some value bye yeah <laughs> hugging you bye